You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. National Security Advisor and Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Major General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received today the National Security Advisor of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Dr. Muayyad Yusuf, and the accompanying delegation. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad welcomed the Pakistani National Security Advisor and his accompanying delegation. The two sides reviewed the outstanding bilateral relations linking the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Islamic Republic of Pakistan at all levels, especially with regards to military coordination and joint defense cooperation. His Highness stressed the importance of strengthening and developing means of bilateral cooperation in accordance with common visions for the best interests of the two brotherly countries and their people. His Majesty, the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the concluding round of the Nasser bin Hamad First Amateur Cycling Tour. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was keen on encouraging the cyclists during the final stage that witnessed wide participation in the tour organized by the Bahrain Cycling Federation in cooperation with the event's company. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the cycling tour comes within the framework of supporting and encouraging young people to ride a bicycle, confirming the large number of Bahraini youth who are able to give and represent the national cycling team in the next stage. His Highness also added that the multiple goals achieved by the first amateur tour will be an incentive to continue organizing these championships which stressed the spread of the cycling culture in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Nasser said that cycling races are a source of inspiration for Bahraini youth and help them to adopt a healthy lifestyle as organizing various championships and competitions serves a large segment of Bahraini society in addition to residents of both. His Highness lauded the outstanding efforts made by the Bahrain Cycling Federation headed by Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad bin Ahmed Al Khalifa and all the committees and judges in directing the tour is the best in the best organizational way, congratulating all the cyclists who won the first places. The winners of the first places were crowned in the third stage, where cyclist Ali Hassan Jawad won the title by obtaining the golden shirt. The first place in the singles race was won by Jeffrey De Barto, whereas cyclist Elias Mohamed won first place in the third stage of the tour, and cyclist Sabr Mohamed won the white shirt for age over 40, Justin Mohammed won the blue shirt, Hussein Al Majid won the green shirt, while Abdullah Adi won in the red jersey. The MG cyclist was honored as the largest rider, and the cyclist Mehdi Hassan was the youngest cyclist in the tour. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the strongest Bahraini championship which was held as part of the 2022 Strength Week. The week is organized by His Highness's media office in collaboration with Bahrain Weightlifting Federation as well as KHK Sports. It's taking place in the period between March the 21st and the 26th of 2022 at the arena opposite the Avenues Mall, Bahrain, and it's part of the Khalid bin Hamad initiatives for supporting sports. Also present in the event were Vice President of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with many other officials and VIP guests. Commenting on the event, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa praised the performance featured throughout the event, stating that the Bahraini youth provo proved their enormous capabilities and the event, which requires high strength and physical fitness. Moreover, His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the winners and wished the other participants the best of luck. The 2022 Strength Week will conclude today with the organization of the second strongest GCC man in the heavyweight. The first edition was dominated by the Bahraini participants who swept the podium.
First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the first Khalid bin Hamad Bodybuilding Championship, which is organized by the Bahrain Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation at Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Hall at the University of Bahrain. The event was attended by many officials and guests, including Vice Chairman of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the CEO of the GSA, Dr. Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar, as well as the President of the International Federation of Bodybuilding and Fitness, Dr. Rafael Santonia. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed gratitude and appreciation for the huge efforts being exerted by the national associations and federations towards holding many events and sports championships that contribute towards improving the kingdom's sports movement, affirming his support to all national federations and associations in order to meet the goals set out. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the endeavors of the Bahrain Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation under the presidency of Sami Ibrahim Al Haddad towards preparing to organize the event, underlining that the bodybuilding sport is an exciting game and has a broad fan base. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the board chairman of the Bahrain Mumtalakat Holding Company, has emphasized the importance of innovation in optimizing maritime logistics services to improve the safety for amateur and professional seafarers. The Deputy Prime Minister was speaking as he inaugurated the latest marine services provided by Al Dur Jetty, which is operated by the Southern Tourism Company that is affiliated with Mumtalakat. The inauguration took place in the presence of ministers and senior officials. The services are the Marine Services Center, Marine Fuel station and the landing supply and catering ship. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah said that the inauguration of the Al-Dur Jetty's latest services is in the line with the strategic trends of the Southern Tourism Company, whose activities have expanded remarkably over the past years. The Deputy Prime Minister lauded the role of the company since its affiliation with Mumtalakat in 2013 in promoting the maritime transportation services and enriching the tourism sector. He thanked the company's staff for their dedication and hard work, which brought about a quality change in the services provided for the Jetty's members. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Engineer Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf confirmed that the Bahraini farmers market was able to achieve success in implementing the goals set for it, pointing out that the market attracted thousands of Bahraini visitors and residents. This came during his sponsorship of the closing activities of the Bahraini farmers market in the ninth edition at the Budaya Botanical Garden. The Minister said that the success of market activities despite the exceptional circumstances of the pandemic came thanks to the continuous coordination between the Ministry and the National Task Force to address the coronavirus. Virus. He also expressed his thanks to the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector for its continuous support, which contributed to the success of the farmer's market. In addition, the Secretary General of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, expressed her happiness with the success of this version of the farmer's market. She confirmed the continuation of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural Sector and its partnership with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning to establish the farmer's market in order to play its important role in marketing local agriculture produce and to serve as an incentive for Bahraini farmers. The final week of the Bahraini farmers market witnessed the establishment of a number of events coinciding with the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. Following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to name an avenue after Bahraini youth, an avenue near the educational area in Isa Town has been renamed as the Bahraini Youth Avenue. The renaming ceremony was attended by Works Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning Minister Aslam bin Abdullah Khalif and Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Ayman bin Tawfiq Al Mu'ayyad, in addition to officials from both ministries. The Youth Minister extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his directives, which he said confirmed the distinguished status enjoyed by Bahraini youth in His Majesty's mindset and the royal keenness to appreciate their role and achievements. The Industry, Commerce and Tourism Ministry is stepping up efforts to monitor the availability of basic commodities as Bahrain gears up for Ramadan early next month. Inspectors are focusing their countrywide clampdown mainly on outlets selling food items to ensure trading activities comply with the regulations. Assistant Undersecretary for Control and Resources, Abdul Aziz Al-Ashraf, stated that during the visit, 
The ministry continuously monitors and follows up on the movement of central markets in terms of the flow of food commodities to identify obstacles and strives to overcome them in coordination with the relevant authorities, which contribute to reducing high prices, monitoring of any illegal manifestations, and dealing with them in accordance with the established procedures. Elishraf confirmed the keenness of the merchants and their readiness for the Hori month by importing main commodities at an early date, indicating that the food stock is sufficient for several months and not only for the blessed month of Ramadan. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,232,913 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,216,250 had taken the second and 973,170 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 8,049 with 984 recoveries, 852 registered new cases and two deaths. There are 20 active cases receiving treatment and six patients in critical condition. Bahrain has recorded 1,468 total deaths, while 540,201 have recovered from the virus. The ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adil Asumi, met with the President of the Southeast Asian Parliamentarians Against Corruption and the Vice President of the Global Parliamentary Organization Against Corruption, Dr. Fadli Zon. The two sides exchanged views on the role of parliamentarians in combating corruption in addition to the institutional cooperation between the Arab Parliament and the two organizations concerned with combating corruption, as well as the cooperation with Asian parliamentary forums such as the Asia-Pacific Parliamentary Forum and the Inter-Parliamentary Assembly of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. They also reviewed the proposed work mechanisms during the coming period in a way that could activate the role of parliamentary diplomacy in supporting the issues of Arab and Islamic countries. For his part, Dr. Zahn expressed his appreciation for the Arab parliament and the role it plays, stressing his keenness to strengthen bilateral cooperation. The free trial phase of the Mecca bus project, which included the recently launched routes 6, 7A, 12 and 7, has been a success, recording 100,000 users since the start of its first trips on February the 15th. More than 40 buses were made operational on the lanes every day, while an additional 40 buses were put on standby in cases of a larger number of users, especially during rush hour. The operational hours of the trips exceeded 22 hours. An operating team consists of 500 employees, including drivers, operational staff, mechanics and a support team. Work is also underway to launch the rest of the routes during the next phase of the project, which will introduce new destinations in Mecca over the next two months to reach several educational, health and commercial facilities. An attack by the Iran-backed Houthi militia on an oil depot in Jeddah resulted in a raging fire. The Arab coalition said a Houthi attack targeted an Aramco oil distribution station in Jeddah, adding that a fire and two tanks at the oil facility were brought under control without injuries or casualties reported. Meanwhile, a limited fire broke out at an electricity distribution plant in the town of Samta in Saudi Arabia's Jazan, following a rocket attack, according to the Arab coalition. Elsewhere, the kingdom's air defenses destroyed seven drones and a missile launched by the Houthis targeting the southern part of the kingdom. The coalition said the hostile attempts by the Iran-backed Houthis deliberately target civilian areas and energy installations. The death toll from two bombings that killed a parliamentary election candidate in central Somalia has risen to 48, according to a regional leader. Amina Mohammed, a vocal critic of the government, was killed on Wednesday by a suicide bomber in the city of Bedouini, around 300 kilometers north of Makadisho, on the eve of her expected re-election. The twin explosions killed several, several, including traders, clerks, officials and civilians, and injured 108 others. Al-Qaeda-linked militant group Al-Shabaab said it was behind those bombings.